All right, we're back. In this video, I just want to make a short one to introduce you to a, two different, a couple different things I've been working on. One is the Analog Discovery 2. It's a uh, FPGA DAC and ADC board that can do all sorts of cool uh, test and measurement. It's a little expensive, a little out of the budget range, but uh, I got it back when it was cheap and I got it some university funding for it. So um, yeah, I've been testing it out and we're gonna show you how to do some work with its API. Um, to write some C programs for it today. Um, and so I guess a easy example um, to realize that would be I want to test, I want to write a script to make some diode curves. So you guys have all seen uh, a, a diode's um, IV curve, the current that it passes for a given voltage across it. And um, so we're going to test that today with a simple circuit. All we're going to do is put one of its uh, one of the analog discoveries voltage outputs in series with the diode and resistor and what we need is the voltage across the diode and the current through this loop and so the voltage across is easy we're just gonna say it's the voltage that we think we're supplying we're gonna tell the analog discovery to supply a certain amount of voltage um, and we're gonna subtract that from the measurement point between the diode and the resistor and um, that'll be the voltage across the diode and then to get the current We'll take the voltage across the resistor, which is also at that measurement point, and of course the other side's the ground. So we have the voltage across it, and we know the resistance value because we can just measure that. Um, so yeah, and then all we're going to do is switch out a couple different diodes, uh, these two different guys, um, right here, and uh, and look at their curves. So as always, you can check out the code on our GitHub uh, to figure out the details of how to program the Analog Discovery 2 uh, with the API, which is what I did in this case. Um, I'm not going to go through the details here, but yeah, uh, email me if you have any questions about that in the future. Okay, so as expected, we have uh, some nice diverging curves here uh, for these two different diodes. The, this one here is the IN4001, and this guy here is the Zener. But you can see here, yeah, we have a nice knee around uh, between 0.6 and 0.7 uh, volts, and then these guys turn on. Let's check it out for temperature now. We'll see how it varies with temperature. Okay, so after a super legit way of modifying the temperature, AKA holding a soldering iron up to the diode uh, at certain points on the iron. And we are left with not a quantitative, but a, at least a qualitative picture of what's happening. And that is that the diode turn on voltage is decreasing with increasing temperature. You can see that curve is shifting to the left for higher and higher temperature. And the reason, the underlying reason is that the charge carrier concentration in the diode is not just a function of the doping level, but also it's uh, dependent on temperature. And as the temperature increases, more charge carriers are available and thus uh, more current can flow for higher and higher temperatures. So here is the Shockley diode equation, which shows the exponential dependence of the current on voltage and it is as I said dependent on that carrier concentration that intrinsic carrier concentration which is competing with the exponential to somehow make this dependency on temperature linear uh, so it's not clear to me exactly how that works out given that I don't know the nature entirely of the effective density of states the NC and V you see there which are also dependent on temperature um, so that's for a future video discussing, I guess, diode physics. Uh, but a couple PDFs are in the uh, documentation page for this video. And so those will have to suffice until then. So in the next video, I hope to make a thermometer out of this diode. Uh, we can use this more or less linear characteristic uh, to our advantage in making a uh, sensing device, a temperature sensing device. So good luck hacking until then, and we'll see you next time.